Hi guys, it, it's day 7 of um, December Vlogmas this month and I'm talking about last night experience. Again, I let myself down. Again, I was in hospital um, because of what's happened on the internet and I've just really have had enough guys, really have had enough. I'm tired, getting stressed all the time. And people aren't exactly helping by doing the sarcastic comments. And this is a discharge letter from the hospital. I have proof to say the mental health team would like to contact you. So I have proof that I have depression there. Because it says, following your attendance at the emergency department, the mental health team would like to contact you to offer you assess an assessment to see if there's anything that can be done to assist you. If you agree to take up on this offer, a member of our team will be will contact you as soon as possible. They will try and contact you by telephone. So please check that the telephone number you leave is correct. If you are unable to leave a contact telephone number, please contact us on the number above to arrange an appointment assessment, which is that one, which is the hospital. And if you're unable to contact you, if you're... If we are unable to contact you within the next working day, we'll write a letter to your GP and ask a request that they should follow up. So basically, the mental health team, I am got mental illness. And people don't exactly believe it. And this is what annoying me, guys. This is what annoying me. is Facebook, comment after comment after comment. Not one... I mean, hang on a minute, guys. We're on a minute. I have over 521 friends on my new Facebook account, right? Not one person asked how I was. Not one true person asked how I was. Very few inboxed me to ask me if I was okay. And obviously I couldn't text or get the internet working in the hospital because sometimes um, in certain places you can't always get a signal. And... This was annoying me so much. The fact is that they're supposed to be my friends. And people who I've met are supposed to be my friends. And they do this to me. Don't you get, guys, I can't be the same person who I was a year ago when Dougie was alive. I cannot be that same person. And people are pushing me and pushing me to be that person. I cannot do it. And it's really upsetting me. It's dragging me down. Can't you accept that I have an illness? Can't you accept that I have depression? Now, what would happen if it was the other way around? If my son had depression? I would understand that because after losing his two dads... I would understand it because he's lost his real dad from an early age and then he's lost his stepdad because he doesn't drink, he doesn't smoke. But what happened if he went the opposite way and he did all that and he was a bad boy? Guys, you've got to think that. But, oh, it's me. If it's me on the Facebook, oh, everyone has a dig at hell's. Oh, yeah, it's a drink this, drink that, drink the other. No, 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 no. But for your information, guys, right, about the drink, I'm thinking of cutting it down. I'm not going to be drinking Stella. I'm going to drink something else. I'm going to drink another lager, which is more weaker. And I like quite like Carlin, so I'm going to get the Carlin bottles. So don't tell me what to do all the time. I mean, when I asked them to drop it today... On Facebook, did they? No. Comment, comment, comment. After comment. It's bang out of order, guys. Really bang out of order. 
I don't know what more proof I've got to give you to say that I am. Do you know what I mean? And it's really, really has upset me by the comments what people have put. I mean, it's not easy for my son neither seeing his mum getting upset like that. Now, if it was you the way around and my son was getting picked on, I'd be straight there. All I'm asking to stop it. All I'm asking is, can you believe me? And can my friends support me? That's all I'm asking is the support. Not putting me down. Not telling me how to do things. Because I could get confused anyway. I'm already confused what my mother said to me last night. I'm just really upset with everything, guys. Really upset. That's why I broke down last night. That's why I did what I did. Because the simple fact is, I can't be that person who I was. And I even said this to the ambulance people. I said, I'm not doing this to cry for help. I'm doing this because I need pain release. And if people who have got depression, they will understand that. Yes, we know it's wrong. We know it's wrong to do what you do. But at least I don't go around punching people in the bloody face or making crimes or hit, kicking shops in and stuff like that to take my temper out on things. I just want people just to understand what I'm going through. And I like sharing my stories. I like sharing my stories on video. I don't want to fall out with people on Facebook. I don't want to block them. But if they're going to be nasty and nasty every time I have a little drink, I'm going to start. Because it always seems to start when I'm having a drink or when I'm on the phone. If I'm not on the laptop, that's when they start. When I'm on the laptop... Hardly everybody speaks to me. Yeah, work that one out, guys. Work that one out. Very few people do actually speak to me. Very few. Unless I in inbox them first, that's when I, they speak to me. It works two ways, guys. It works two ways. So all these sarcastic remarks... Stop doing it. I would be much more of a happier person. I don't go around... Exp well, actually, people shouldn't make you explain about your statuses, about your life. How you run your life. Because this is what's annoying me. This is what is actually annoying me. Because of people telling you, you can't do it this way. You can't do it that way. And it's making my head confused. Naturally. I mean, what what were the chances if I did something really, really bad and you won't see me on the videos anymore? What were the chances of that? But I wouldn't because I've got my son to live on for do you know what I mean and it just annoys me the simple fact is the way people carry on I mean life is cruel enough and I don't need it I don't need it guys honestly don't I'm actually going to leave you on that note. I'm not going to go through my list like I normally do because I'm just tired. I'm tired, sick of explaining. 
tired of acting for the person who I am and I can't do it. So, see you all guys later. Bye.